Why, hello there. I'm Ryan Raffles. And I'm Johnny. And welcome to Ryan Raffles' epic, amazing show, episode number five. We got this microphone smack dab in the middle of us and we're ready to get started. So here we go. Time for the casual fade out. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> well, here we go. We're ready to get started for you today here. Um, I think we're going to have Johnny start us off with our first news story of the day here. So go ahead, Johnny. Take it away. Okay. Man's mouth catches fire after adding too much Szechuan to noodles. After a recent discovery of a multitude of new sauces and seasonings, a local man was eager to try his new favorite Szechuan sauce on everything imaginable. This took a tragic turn when the man decided to add Szechuan to his spaghetti. Eager to get a hit of that sweet, spicy sauce, the man added nearly half the bottle to a single bowl. He quickly regretted this as his mouth burst into flames and very nearly destroyed his esophagus. Good lord. The man was lucky his roommate was home to extinguish the flames, for he set his phone on fire in an attempt to speak with 911 with his flaming oral cavity. That is rough indeed. I couldn't even imagine what it must be like. I wouldn't know. To go through that experience. Imagine living with someone that puts Szechuan sauce on their spaghetti. I, I wouldn't even know I, what to do with know. myself. No idea. I don't That's know who rough. would do such a thing. I don't know. That's Don't do it. The only Szechuan you should be having is McDonald's when they finally bring it back. <laughs> when they finally bring it back. In our next story for the day. <laughs> uh, this one reads, Local man takes devastating fall on area beach. An unidentified... <laughs> I can't read. An unidentified man's cardio came to a crashing halt this past Independence Day when it seems his feet had other plans. A viewer going by the name of Totally Innocent Beach Cam 53 captured the terrifying footage which appears to show this man suffering a tragic plummet. Now beware, the following clip may disturb some viewers. Oh, look at this man running on the beach. Look at him, he getting some fun, he getting some action in. Look at him running. Oh, oh lord, oh, this man falling. Oh, good, what are we, oh my gosh. What, what does that? Oh my goodness. That was quite disturbing indeed. Let's watch it one more time. Oh, look at this man running on the beach. Look at him, he getting some fun, he getting some action in. Look at him running. Oh, oh lord, oh, this man falling. Oh, good, what are we, oh my gosh. What does that? That was the most disturbing thing I've had to force myself to watch in a long time. Hold your kids tightly. Hold your kids tight tonight. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go, Jack. I'll never let you go. And that was a disturbing reminder that everything in this world is deadly. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, we need to go to a commercial break right now and wipe away our tears, so we'll be right back. Ryan Rafel's epic, amazing show is brought to you by Generic Daytime Sickness Medicine. Generic Daytime Sickness Medicine allows you to continue working hard while deathly ill in a society that values money over the well-being of its people. Generic Daytime Sickness Medicine. Hello there. I'm Tony Guadalupe, owner and proprietor of Continental Foods, and I'm here in this low-budget commercial to tell you about how you can come on down here and get you a dish from every single continent on this planet and others, and that's a guarantee. And let me tell you a little bit of our exceptional waitstaff, Absorve. Hey bud, you uh, you gonna take my order or what? Only the most professional. A dish from every country and premium certified wait staff with minimal kitchen infestation. What else can you ask for? Continental foods, I tell you that much. And welcome back, folks. We finally recuperated ourselves enough to move on. And boy, you're gonna be glad because we got something real special in store for you folks. 
Now, we have a very special performance for you today. Despite our best efforts to find LMFAO, they have not resurfaced since their sincere apology for party rocking all those years ago. But boy, do I have something even better. Introducing my dear, good, talented friend with a skill to make your ring spin. Introducing Angel. Hey, yo, Dan, I thought you were supposed to get me an angel over here. What gives? Hi, I'm here. I thought I ordered an angel. I'm a devil. I'm a reflection of you. That's really deep, man. Mm. Well, come prepared. Because that's the kind of stuff we get into here at the Ryan Rifles Entertainment Show. Yeah, man. You're right. I feel like a whole new person. That makes sense. Life comes in phases, just like a song in which we were just jamming. And there was a bridge in that song, and now we're bridging over onto the next thing. We really just keep on moving, huh? Mm, keep trucking, I think. Yeah. And, and sailing and soaring. Yeah, and boating and cruising. Yeah. That's life. Cool. I'm glad you can carry that with you from the depths of hell and everywhere. Yeah, man. Feeling good. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? Wow. That sure made my ring spin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, thank you, Angel, for that beautiful, touching performance. 
I haven't cried like that since since LMFAO left. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh man! Thank you, thank you. How about that ride on keyboard, though? Am I right? Am I right? Cricket, cricket. Okay, well he was pretty okay. And by the way, who keeps letting cats in here? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, if you loved Angel, and I know you did, you can follow her on Instagram at. Little nature baby appearing right here on your screen. Go check out her hoops. Lots of hoops. All right, well, we're going to go for another commercial break, and we will be right back with you. Hello there. Have you ever been eating breakfast and thought, man, I wish this was disgusting? Well, boy, do I have the solution for you flavored oatmeals. Now, you can get your great plain flavor of oatmeal and make it even worse with great flavors like Cool Ranch Oatmeal and my personal favorite Chunky Salsa Oatmeal Now who are you gonna be disgusted by now? <laughs> Flavored Oatmeal Hey! Do you have someone you really hate? I'm talking like you want to beat the crap out of them, but you can't because you can't afford to go to jail and tarnish your good person record. Punch him back. Just, just punch him. That's your, your ex. That's your, your lawyer. That's your, who else do you hate? I don't know, but that's them. That's them. And you're beating them. You're beating them real good. You're beating them real good. So beat them. Not literally. Not inciting violence. That's all. Welcome back. And now we have something brand new and exciting for you. Get on your aprons. It's time for something we're calling In the Kitchen with, with Ryan, Ryan and, and Johnny. <laughs> Welcome to In the Kitchen with Ryan and Johnny. Today, we're doing a recipe from HelloFresh. We aren't sponsored yet. Yet. That's it. Always make sure that you take out uh, all of the ingredients. Check it thoroughly. Yep, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. It looks like today we'll be making a Szechuan broccoli and mushroom stir fry. So let's get started. First, we need to chop our vegetables. We're going to peel and mince the ginger. Well, we can't mince it. Oh, yes, we can. We can't grate it. We're mincing it. We're gonna we're we're, we're gonna mince it. Um, and we're going to use half the onion. Johnny's working on that. Look at that work. Oh boy, goodness golly gee. And we're gonna trim and quarter the mushrooms. Gonna cut the onions. And uh, yeah, so let's get chopping. I have absolutely no idea how to mince, but. We're chopping away. Look at how nicely minced it that is. Let's see how those onions are coming along. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> oh boy, look at those <laughs> onions. It's a good thing we're not sponsored by HelloFresh yet, so that I can tell you that they gave us bad mushrooms. What a shame. Looks like it's just going to be broccoli stir fry tonight. Now, it's time to quarter this lime. All right, all quartered. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're going to add a drizzle of oil. That was a little more than a drizzle, but we don't care. And the ginger. Wait, there's a little more. And we're going to put it in this pot over medium high heat and heat it for a minute. Now, we add in the rice, three quarters of a cup of water and a big pinch of salt. Ugh. Yeah! Woo! It's in there for 15 to 18 minutes, and now it's sauce time. We're really getting saucy now. We've got, in a small bowl, some cornstarch and some water. And now, we're catching Johnny adding in the sweet soy glaze. Later to be joined by Szechuan paste and some lime juice and sugar. Alright, so now, 
We're going to cook our veggies. Onions going in. Hell yeah, brother. Whoop. Broccoli. Oh yeah. All right. That is getting squish splashy. All right. And we're going to add some salt and pepper as well. Uh, you ready? Yeah. And going to add a little splash of water. And we're going to steam it for approximately three minutes. Oh yeah. All right, now it's nice and steamy. So we're going to unveil it. And now that it's dripping all over my stove. Oh! Okay, now we are going to add a little bit of more oil. Just a uh, boop. And I'm going to cook it, stirring occasionally, for another three to five minutes. Time to pour in the sauce to make this stir fry. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. To this, we're going to add some cashews and butter. I'm now going to fluff the rice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Getting all nice and fluffy. Oh, yes. I'll then add some more butter and some salt and pepper. And now, the finished product. Look at that. Garnished with a lime wedge, severely lacking mushroom, in all its glory. What do you think? I think it needs more Szechuan. <laughs> of course you do! <laughs> and what do I think? Very good. Yeah, like the hotness of the Szechuan. The sweetness from the soy and the sauce mixing in there. It's very good. Only thing I would add is mushroom. But other than that, very good. This has been In the Kitchen with Ryan and Johnny. I hope you all were prepared to be professional chefs. That was so professional, I probably should have given you a warning. That was the most professional work in the kitchen I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of professional work in the kitchen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh my. <sighs> that was pretty great. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully I've left you with something worthwhile to take home. I probably didn't, but I can have hope, right? <laughs> Please give me some hope. <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately, my friends, the time has come and we must now say... Goodbye. 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 Yeah, but remember, you can follow me on Instagram at Ryan C. Grayfuls. And remember to subscribe if you at least think we're, like, pretty okay, because we can only go up from here, am I right? <laughs> and stay on top of your local politicians, please. Lay down the law. Until next time, I'm Ryan Rayfuls. And I'm Johnny. And we'll be seeing you around. <laughs>